I'm willing to bet that within the next two videos or so, I think we're going to get called into a war uh, either from Austria's side or France's side. More than likely, I think that's going to happen. And I'm okay with that to keep up my army tradition and uh, kind of keep me going. I, I, obviously, I'll be kind of reserve in wars, helping out those two allies, but uh, I don't mind it. I, I'm expecting it, I guess. So we're just going to try to hold on to our two newly acquired provinces here uh, with some small, I mean, uh, the chance of uprising is not too bad. I think we should just, just be fine. Uh, war exhaustion should tick down. And, you know, we haven't even discussed coalitions can still form. I, weirdly enough, I've noticed within this new patch, the coalitions don't necessarily form um, right away. I, I've noticed the coalitions will form like six months to a year afterwards sometimes. It's really strange. But then again, that might be because I, I might have had been fabricating a claim currently and then maybe I got caught and that might have set it over the edge. So um, that's why I'm not fabricating any claims. I'm trying to be as uh, as careful as possible. Now, I could all obviously get up another alliance here because I have actually a lot of diplomatic relations. Oh, you know what I need to do? While I'm at peace, and I'm probably out of peace for a very long time, we need to make sure that this is happening. We need to annex these guys as fast as possible. I completely forgot about that. Uh, now, exactly how can I... If I offer you my military access, more than likely that'll kind of boost it up a bit. Um, but that's about it. That's probably all I can do. They have military access. Um, yeah, they don't need any of this stuff. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to wait, and that's fine. We need to make sure that we annex our vassal before the next set of wars that we decide to get into. Uh, obviously, if we get called into a war, that's just gonna be really unfortunate, because I, I really can't do anything about that. Uh, how's Milan doing? Is Milan... Oh, okay. Uh, Burgundy's accepted peace from Provence. Yep, that's what I thought. Burgundy's gotten a lot more powerful. They're allied to Castile, Flanders, Holland, and Branbad. Uh, Ireland, and oh my gosh, England's getting destroyed. They're getting wrecked by rebels. So Provence, I think, is dead because I think uh, Brittany, yep, Brittany took both of those uh, lands. So I certainly do not want to, oh, the Papal State announced me as their new rival, you bastards. All right, I can do this. I can do the same thing to you. I see how it is. Let's let's check this state of the region exactly who is allied to 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 what now. I got a national decision here. Oh no no no! I know this one. Yeah. Nope. Uh, that 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 can't happen. I, I'm I am not gonna do that. Not yet. Maybe when Protestantism becomes more of a clear thing, which I know I discussed possibly going down Protestants. Oh my gosh, Corsica. Oh, they must have lost their war and Corsica was released. Yes, I would really love this island. And if I could vassalize them, that would be the best I can. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh, yes. Please, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Please let me vassalize you. That would be great. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, I don't care if the I don't care if the land yeah it's a pretty crap province but uh, that's fine because it gives me a landing point for Sardinia, for me to uh, maybe get up a formable country a formable nation. Uh, we'll talk about that later. More than likely, you guys already know what it is. We're close to being able to start the core of the Milan capital. Yes, I will accept the uh, the royal marriage. So now we need to get our relationship up to and we should yeah we'll be able to do this. Because we don't have any penalties with, Cor with Corsica, which is actually perfect. So we're now we're just going to wait for all this stuff to happen. And I, I might, in the meantime, want to, again, continue to maybe develop provinces, at least shipbuilding costs in Nice. Uh, might be not a, not a terrible idea. Now, why can't... Oh, I don't have a core on it yet. That's why I can't begin to develop it. Okay, well, yeah, Nice needs to uh, definitely increase its ship, ship, shipbuilding cost. Seems like a good idea. Although I'm, I'm about to pay a whole bunch of diplomatic uh, points. So now it's 74 to upgrade it again above 5. Well, that's something that I'm going to be wanting to do a lot of. A whole lot of. So Savoy's, Savoy getting a diplomatic insult on... Is that my... Wait a second. That's... that's why would I want that? Okay. Well, that was my vassal that I got that insult with. I don't know why that happened, but whatever. Weird events, I guess. Um, how is... I, I'm imagining that my, my naval force limit, it did rise. Okay, good. And that's another thing, is I should increase my regular force limit. Right now, we're just going to build a few more infantry. I know that we could probably build a cavalry unit, but I think we're going to refrain from that for a little bit here. 
at least after this point. And now if it increases to above 20, we'll, we'll get a few more. But I just want to make sure that I'm not anywhere close to 50% because, you know, as you know, during wars, I'm always splitting things up and I, I can't always pay attention to exactly how many cavalry are going this way, how many uh, infantry are going this way, you know what I mean? Oh, I don't want to lose stability. Okay, well, we don't have to convert anything anytime soon at all. So actually, uh, technology cost would be great. Negative to uh, technology cost is a, is a great uh, event. And I only had to pay some stability for it. Let's hope that I don't ever have to boost my stability. Because, man, we're going to need all the admin points that we can get, man. Jeez. This is just ridiculous. Okay, let's have these guys go this way. Oh, wait, they can't yet. They're, they're frozen. Getting a whole bunch of money. Let's go also start building some more buildings around here. Uh, yes, let, let's definitely upgrade to a castle. Going to cost me 200 ducats, but I kind of need to. I don't really have any, any other choice here. And what other buildings? You've actually only have two slots. Local tax modifier. We're gonna definitely want to build on top of the Milan capital. Oh, and by the way, let's uh, let's go and core this. Okay, good. That's gonna remove some overextension, and the uprising probably will not happen because we're gonna core um, this land soon. This this should become a, a new core very soon. If I just I don't want to increase autonomy, that's like the number one thing I really do not want to do right now. I do not want to increase my autonomy because that's that sucks when you have to do that sort of thing. It really, really does. Okay, so any wars that are happening around us, how are we looking? Everything's looking fine. It looks like a pretty peaceful, peaceful time in the region. How's England doing? England settled. Oh, they they handled their rebels. I guess they're doing a lot better now. I could get some advisors, but I'm doing just fine. I'm I'm super happy with nine eight six. Sounds like a good deal to me. There goes the core. So yeah, like I said, that's going to lower the overextension a bit, and I can start to develop these, this province, but this isn't even a good province anyways. Uh, for two, I mean, that's why I guess we should develop it, Drew, right? Um, but I'd rather develop the provinces that already have high numbers instead, even though it's probably going to cost me more. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. You know, it might be better to kind of get everyone to um, above average levels than have crappy provinces and then one really good one. That's, it's probably going to cost me more that way. I don't know. I'm going to have to do the math during a break or something like that. Are you just allied to... Okay, you're just allied to me. You feel threatened. I hope that that is not affecting... Okay, it's not. Um, have to have a military alliance. We have that. 190. We're going to get that. And we must be at peace. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get that. I just want to make sure that you know something terrible is not going to happen. Over time. It seems like the... Uh, the... The diplomats are taking forever to get there. Remember, this is very crucial, that we do not go to war within the next, what is it, a few years. So if someone calls me into war, I'm not going to be able to vassalize Korska, and I will not be able to annex uh, my vassal that I started off with. So that's important. Also, it's really important that I get my manpower up. I don't know why it's, I mean, I'm not really kind of regenerating as fast. You know, reinforcement speed, the reinforcement speed advisor might have been a good situation, or like a good idea to have gotten previously, but... I guess not. And we get this uh, this natural, this national, this country modifier, I mean, uh, until 1464. So we get going to get a bit better. We should be fast at, at getting our technologies, which is great. Uh, and I love the notification. When If, if a war does break out, it will let me know that uh, I do have my forts mothballed. So uh, they're not going to be as effective, I guess you could say. Again, a war with Switzerland is, is probably still plausible because, they're again, their two allies are not the... Not the strongest. Um, there they are. Yeah, I mean they're t they've got they're allied to two province minor two one province miners. Uh, if I am able to get someone like Austria, actually Austria would not join in a war like that. Not for someone in, not to try to go in and attack the em the empire. But if France joins in, there's no problem. Again, if France joins in, it's it's not an issue. And I really hope that France is ready for this. I hope they're uh, they're preparing themselves. They really don't have many many places to expand towards. I guess they could declare war on the papal state, but they'd have to go to war with also. Ink Whoa! So I didn't think about this. Uh, France is in a sticky situation. Aragon would be an easy way to expand towards. You could easily expand down towards Aragon because Portugal more than likely uh, Portugal would get uh, military access through Castile. So, but still. I mean, if your focus completely down south, you'll be okay, but, you know, then you have to worry about if England decides to declare the Hundred Years' War. I guess they have a Casus Belli again for that. There we go. There goes the core. Nice. 
So we can start to develop this stuff if we want. And we get a culture accepted. Nice. Okay. That's great. And uh, what else do we have? So yeah, I think I want to maybe start to spend military power to get a bit more manpower in general. Get that maximum manpower up as well as just getting the, the reinforcement each month. Jeez. Maybe I'm just used to playing as uh, uh, just kind of the modern day Russian area. So my, my manpower is just so low. It's something that I'm really not used to currently. Okay, we've almost got there in, in terms of points. Uh, looks like Bavaria is suffering from some rebels. And you know what? Is Austria at war? No. Who is Bavaria, B Bavaria at war with? Okay, just a couple of nations from the HRE. Um, again, I still haven't decided. I don't think I'm going to play a Holy Roman Empire game. I don't think I'm going to try to become the Holy Rom Roman em uh, Emperor. I don't think I even can if I wanted to. Not until a while. I might want to steal that away if, if Savoy, if I do kind of take this nation and, and get it to be somewhat powerful enough to handle some of these alliances. Because, you know, I'd have to get up alliances that I'd have to send a lot of diplomats over. Uh, we would definitely need to go over, what was it? That's that idea group with the extra, is it influence ideas? I can't remember exactly, but we'd have to go for some sort of idea groups that uh, offer me an extra diplomat and, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so I don't think I can play the whole Emperor game just yet. And more than likely, I don't think I could even if I wanted to. Okay, so Castile just declared war on Aragon. Um, now, how's my aggressive expansion doing? It's been quite a while. It's been quite a while, so it, it's it's not as bad. I don't think I can jump into a war just yet, but I could probably in, in about another... By 1460, I could. Because I think it's decreasing at about 2.5, probably about 2.4 uh, to be exact. But still, nothing nothing too much. Okay, let's get ready to, let's get ready to annex these guys. Bunch of people want some military access. That's because Naples has come to aid, obviously, of Aragon, uh, as we're used to seeing. Um, Castile is... You know, I'd, I'd like Castile... Here's the thing. I will never get a hold of Sardinia if Aragon forms a personal union with Castile, or I guess vice versa. So I need to be very careful of that. Obviously, I want Castile to take away a lot of power from Aragon, but if I, I don't want them to form that personal union. I don't want them to form Spain, because, again, like I said, uh, Sardinia will never be mine at that point. Okay, let's annex these guys. And how much is that going to cost us? Dang it, I didn't even see, but I know it was going to cost us a ridiculous amount. Just for one province, it's going to cost us quite a bit of uh, diplomatic power. Does it say right here? Yeah, 120. Oh, that's estimated. Annex annexation process, yes. Because we're doing six per month, so it's going to cost us 120. 120 diplo power for this one little province. This one little guy with only five base tax. Surprising, I know, right? Very surprising. Okay, how are we doing in technology? Thinking about, well, I, I really need another idea. I need an idea group, so I don't really want to pay any more admin points uh, to upgrade just yet. Not yet. And I'm behind in military power right now, so uh, that is currently happening. The annexation should be done pretty fast here, and then I'm going to actually uh, get ready for the vassalization of Corsica. So we've got to really keep in mind exactly how we're cho choosing to expand, uh, dividing it up through, you know, obviously conquest and coring, as well as, um, as as well as vassalizing, diplo, annexing, stuff like that is is extremely extremely important. Um, with the increased cost of coring, it's it's just mandatory. It's just mandatory that you're ex you know kind of wary of that. Okay, so what is this? Milan will be uh, the seat of the new cardinal. Hmm. Brescia, Venice, will no longer be the seat of the Cardinal. Venice gets a diplomatic Casas Belli. Oh, oh no. I don't want that. And I didn't even think about that. I could fabricate some claims, but I'm not going to just yet. I'm going to gang a Spy Master. Yeah, I could go ahead and choose that if I... If I wanted to. I mean, I'm making enough money. I could easily... Uh, you know, I probably should. If, I, if, I'm, if I'm making the money, then why not? I, I know I could build some buildings. And I, and I probably should, to be honest. Uh, I, sh I probably should. Where is... I see... You know, we don't have the technology right now for the really cool buildings. So I don't think... I mean, local trade power is good. Especially for someone like Nice in the Genoa trade node. I mean, who... What, what Exactly... I should probably only stick to the provinces that are already, like, pretty good to, to do the... Because uh, currently, how much am I getting? I'm getting 2.64. 
Let's go ahead and get some uh, local trade power by 50%. See how much we're getting there after this next month. How much is that actually going to increase? We have to wait for the next month to take over. We have to wait till actually October gets here. So uh, we'll see. Oh my gosh, I'm actually losing 2.62. Okay, well, I have to, I'll have to finish it. That's right, I'm, I'm stupid. I have to actually finish the building. I don't know why I forgot about that. Uh, yes, let's get some di uh, Diplo technology. And like I said, yeah, let's go ahead and... I think we're good. We can afford to get a few advisors for now. Trade efficiency, I love it. Trade range and trade efficiency also automatically increase because of the Diplo technology advancement that I just got into. So that's good. And stability cost. Damn, I don't like that. But how much is it going to cost me? Let's try it out. So I can uh, I can retire this advisor for... Oh my gosh. So it ranges with levels. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, let's just play it cheap here. Let's retire him. So how would I do this? Do I go back and do I get another one? Or does this does he come later? There it goes. Okay, so production efficiency. Yeah, uh, That's much better. Oh, that's nice. I like it. I like that a lot. That was cool. And yeah, so I think I'll wait for myself to get a bit stronger in terms of uh, who are we going to go to war with? I haven't even thought about that yet. It's 14, 6, it's 1458. Let's reevaluate my my uh, aggressive expansion. Yeah, it's not bad. We could we could totally go to war with somebody. But who do I want to go to war with exactly? Now, I know Genoa has lost a significant amount of strength, but they're allied to Austria. That's overall the problem. Papal State are allied to England, but if we get France to join in, it wouldn't be an issue. Oh, they're allied to Milan now, too. Damn you, Milan. Milan is allied to the Papal State, Pisa, and Lucca. I, pr I, pro I, I probably am just terribly pronunciating those, some of those uh, names. Oh, you're allied to Genoa. See, now it's starting to get complicated. These guys all got some random random alliances. Uh, who's willing to join in? I'm surprised Austria. Or I'm sorry, no, it's France. So, so oh my gosh, Castile wouldn't join in right now. Me and Austria, I think, could take, this, take these guys down. But why isn't France wanting to go to war with Burgundy? So currently they're occupied. Whoa, Burgundy's being occupied by Scotland. Now that is a strange one. We might want to wait some time, see how Burgundy does, because Austria would join in, and I think Austria would be able to handle Burgundy. We should check the ledger to see exactly uh, how they're doing in terms of military might, I guess. Burgundy's at 1,700 men. That's about the same size as I am. Let's go ahead and also start to increase this, because I think that we might be going to war very soon. Uh, and maybe start building some ships, too. I'll get some light ships, because we do need some more light ships. And they're pretty cheap. Let's go ahead and build this. Okay. Yeah, man, we can build that in one year in Nice, two years in this other province, because I'm guessing because of autonomy. Oh, has this gone away? It's almost away. It'll, it'll be gone soon. So, yeah, we're going to have an interesting choice here. Um, and when can I choose to a annex Corsica? I'd like to do that as soon as possible, but not until about another nine years. So we might actually have to maybe try to expand. Okay, so Luca, let's let's go ahead and uh, fabricate a claim on these guys. They've got no alliances, so this would be a great person to go after. Pisa might be good too. I could go to war with these guys. Um, yeah, you know what? what? Some of these one province miners in the northern part of the Italian peninsula might be the best bet, the safest wars to get into, at least for now. While I'm still kind of regaining my strength and stuff like that. Let's lose the money. Of course, let's lose the money. We might want to hire a new advisor soon. Um, I'm currently at my force limit. Oh, no, I can I can build two more. And we've got plenty of money, so let's go ahead and get ourselves two more cavalry units and separate them into our two different regiments. Um, I think my heir is a little bit better than my king. Actually, Oh, and there, there it goes. The intro was not for anything. It was not for... You, do you really need my help against Ulm? Are you serious? Okay, of course we're going to join in. That's fine. Um... You're going to be fine, Austria. I don't know why you called me into this. As well as I'm sure you called in all of your other... Yes, you did. You called in everybody else. So that is kind of funny that you really kind of thought you needed my help that bad. Yeah, so I think we want to expand down towards here. Actually, can I also... There we go. There's significant more power. Uh, can we also maybe possibly fabricate a claim on Siena? I can. So all these guys are a possibility. Yeah, these all would be really good possibilities. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to kind of combine my forts just yet because I don't think there's going to be I don't think they're going to come into our territory but we'll, we'll watch out anyways guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time